There's some things, some documents. I'm turning around in your favor, said the Lord. I even see something to do with the government. And I don't know if it's something to do with your taxes. I don't know what it's to do with it. But I see something the Lord said, I'm bringing in order. I'm changing even your credit. Hey. Hallelujah. Oh, shalom. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? Am I bearing witness to you? Yes. Huh? What's your name? Huh? There is. There is. There is. There is. Where's your significant other? Right there. You're married. How many years? Nine years. Nine years. Where have your children? How many? Three. Where are you working? Because what God's going to do for you, in particular, in the field of music, is going to transcend barriers. Religious barriers, cultural barriers, all manner of barriers. I want you to get ready because God is going to do something for you. He's going to download something into your spirit. And this thing, because you have been like one locked in caves and locked in struggles, locked in one. God said, I'm going to promote you just like I did Daniel. Are you hearing me, Darius? Hallelujah. I'm going to promote you just as I promoted Daniel. Even in the city, said the Lord. For you have been behind, now you shall become forward. Hallelujah. But the way God is going to bring you forward is going to be in a strange way. It's going to be through your gift of music. Are you understanding? Your gift of music, said the Lord, and that gift will make room for you and set you before kings and great men, said the Lord. For even in the high seat of Congress, the God said, I shall have you to enter these corridors and there will be some big service, a big, 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 big celebration. I don't know if it will be on the lawn of the White House or where this will be, but I see you dressed in a suit. And I see your gift, your gift being highlighted and spotlighted said the Lord he shall and the Lord said be careful who you shake hands with said the Lord he said be careful who you shake hands with well God said don't allow anyone to pervert your gift said the Lord but he said to be unto me as an oracle said the Lord for even what your forefathers and your ancestors was not able to do I shall cause you to do said the Lord hallelujah hallelujah what is M O O R E? More. M O O R E. More. What is that? More is is what it is. More. M O O R E. Uh huh. Where you work? Uh huh. Hallelujah. I want the head chief commoners. God say, don't worry about everyone around you. I will give you favor in the high office. Hallelujah. You see, Hallelujah. you're thinking in your mind like, I don't know this man, don't even know me like that. You know, we don't run like that. Hey, do you understand Joseph's story? Do you understand Joseph life? My Lord. Do you understand? Are you hearing me, son? Yes. Come, you and your wife stand here. God said, what I'm going to do for you, no man can ever, 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 ever do it for you, people. It was very hard at the beginning. It was very, very, very hard. To the degree, praise God, it almost broke down. Everything almost broke down. Everything almost shattered apart. And God said, who I joined together, no man can put us asunder that's why you are still standing because even when you look in your family these men don't last they don't hang around they don't be true to no one God said no everyone thinks marriages are made in heaven uh, but he said it's what you make it on earth are you hearing me? What you do with it on earth, how you pray for it on earth, 
that so shall it be done in heaven, said the Lord. And so God said, I'm removing the way to spread a confusion away from you people. He said, didn't you notice the whole, he said, every time you guys had a disagreement, I brought you back together stronger. So God said, believe me for my very word's sake. There's some things, some documents. I'm turning around in your favor, said the Lord. I even see something to do with the government. And I don't know if it's something to do with your taxes. I don't know what it's to do with it. But I see something the Lord said, I'm bringing in order. I'm changing even your credit. Hey. Hallelujah. Oh, shut up. Are you hearing me? Am I bearing witness to you? Yes. Huh? It was something wrong with my credit when it went to negative. Mm. I was like, something all right. So I went to go all the way down to negative. Negative. From, from seven something. And um, I was crying and I got angry and frustrated because we was standing on going by my house and stuff. And um, um, I checked, somebody told me to check my email and I checked my credit again. I thought it was going to take a long time to get my credit back up. And my credit shot all the way up to six. Mm -hmm. it's, wow. going it's going to go up when I touch you today. Have you spoken to me about your credit, about your tax? God said, tell them. I'm working what? Restoration. I'm going to answer Acceleration. Acceleration. Hallelujah. I won't have your name to be blamed for anything. Because I'm about to push you into the light. Hallelujah. So I'm going to fix your credit, your score. I want you to get ready, get ready, because you're going to see seven plus seven. It's going, it's going to shock you, shock you, shock you. Hallelujah. How can you get up to an eight and eight? You know you eight. You don't make six figures. Where you going to get an eight from? You just wait right to the gate, because the eight a is going to be not late. Hey. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. God said, I'm going to change your story, son. I'm going to change your story, man. All the days you suffered and everyone who cursed you and mocked you and said, what you marry this girl for? And all of this crazy thing. God said, don't worry about them. I brought you together for such a time as this. He said, listen, you are the apple of his eyes. I will now cause his eyes and his eyes. You watch and see. He said, all the mistakes of the past is over. Said the Lord God, Jehovah. So God said, believe me and stand upon my word and watch and see what I shall do. I shall take this man gifts and I shall make his name to go before kings and great men. But the Lord said to prophesy and tell you, only remember because it's going to happen so quickly that when you rise up to the occasion, do not forget this woman, do not forget your three children and do not forget the God. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Masterpiece. There's only a few of you musicians like this in the world. You hear different from others. And you don't like to hear stupid. But you hear different. And God said, I'm going to create a masterpiece just for you. Yeah. When it is created, yeah. copyright. Yeah. And then, I'm looking. It's going to go all around the world. Places you have never been, you have never seen, it will go. As a girl, several years ago, I prophesied to her, I was going to preach a church in Orlando. When I get to the church, one big old church, it was half empty. I said, what joke is this? God said, I sent you here for somebody. I look all around, I said, where? Because I don't see nobody. <laughs> That's the longest I've ever been in a holding room in my life. I think they were waiting for the masses. They never came. So the church, big old building, that was half empty. It was in Orlando. I can remember it like today. And I couldn't stay in the back no longer. I told my armor bearer, Betty, if there are people out there or not, I am going out. I came here for somebody, and I don't know who they are, but I will know them when I see them. When I get inside on the pulpit, there was a girl doing praise and worship. And she was pregnant like this. Have you ever seen those skinny belly pregnant women? They are nine months, but they are skinny like a toothpick, and you are so angry because when you are pregnant, you look like a Mack truck. <laughs> this girl was 
was singing her heart out and she had a hand behind a table like this. She was wearing flip-flop shoes and a spaghetti black dress. And she was singing like it was nobody business. It is well with my soul. And she was crying and singing. And Jesus spoke to me and said, that's the girl right there who you came for. So when you are finished preaching, lay hands on her, release an impartation and watch. I will do to this girl. I prophesied to the girl, I said, young lady, you are singing in a half empty church, but you're crying and you're singing your heart out. You're going through a serious marital problem. This man, he, he loved you and then he switched on you. But God said, take care of your children because he's going to take you around the world. In less than one, one year, you will go around the whole world. And she looked at me like I was Draco's wife, but I knew I was married. And then when I finished prophesying to her, the girl fell on the ground, pregnant though she was, began to cry. I say pick her up because she's going around the world she will sing the gospel I say I see you on in front of people judges you're going to sing in front of some judges and, and they're going to pick you you're going to be the winner they're going to give you a CD album deal in a studio that sound will take you around the world the name of the show was gospel best Sunday best Sunday best yes. the name of the window was Leandra Johnson. One word. One word. One word. Ah. is the connector and that's why we take you today I saw an angel standing by you we have now come to open that door for you son yes. you have come to open that in the name of Jesus Christ let that Jesus. door open for you yes. and your wife you shall go to that door yes. and just as I spoke to the Andrew and so many other people all around the world all in Hollywood everywhere you see I don't flash a name drop but it will shock you. God said, I will do it for you. Yes. I will do this for you. And I will do it because of his name's sake. Said the Lord, I will do it for my name's sake. So get ready and get yourself together. Get yourself and your wife in prayer. Watch God. Watch God. Watch God. Seek him day and night. Yes. And you will see the door of favor shall open. Hallelujah. Jesus. Darius and my name is Lakenya and um, we traveled from Atlanta uh, we originally from Miami and um, what a move of God today um, July 7th is a day I'll never forget um, this is a day that uh, prophetess she spoke into our life and um, she just released the blessings on us and uh, I never forget this day um, to this to this to this moment I'm still in the spirit um, I'm lost for words um, um, when I first got here, um, me and my wife, we, we, we declared and we decreed that she would speak to us, that she would deliver us, that she would set us free. And this experience has been one like no other. Um, if you have not met her yet, um, please meet her. Um, I met her actually, my wife was connected with the ministry online. And my wife uh, showed me her through uh, YouTube videos, online. And ever since, we've been following her. Um, it, it ain't a day go by that we don't watch her videos and, and everything so um i just wanted to say that i thank you uh prophetess and apostle um just for y'all time just coming to south florida um, south florida needs it it needs it uh deliverance um it's a lot of churches and 
and, and people dying and they're thirsty, they're hungry for it. And I just want to encourage you to keep doing what you're doing and keep being led by God. I just want to thank you for my deliverance and healing and breakthrough and miracle prophecy. And I look forward to sitting under the ministry, being under a powerful woman like her, being connected with a powerful, mighty man and prophetess that can really see and nothing fake about what she do. Everything is real. And I just encourage her and encourage her husband to continue to do what they do because America really, America really needs this powerful movement.